so what is up guys this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel this one is Corvus OS which is based on android version 11 and is now available for redmi note 9 pro users and redmi note 9 s redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro which means if you have your tool device you can install this Corvus OS latest unofficial build on your device in this video i'm going to show you how's the performance how's the battery backup how the room is going on and also i got a bug which is only one bug by the way didn't got any major bugs just got the one bug and i'll tell you and also i'll try to list on my website so you can go and get an idea that how this build works now let's get started let's find out which are the things you get here guys this one is the corvus os which i was talking about which is based on android version 11 which is the latest android 11 version i already made a review on corvus os android version 10 for these mere tool devices if you haven't checked it out make sure to check that and now talking about this build this build is based on android version 11 with the november security patch so the latest security patch with the atris kernel i've not tried to install a custom kernel here so not sure about the custom kernel will work or not or and if it will work then how it will look alike now let's take a look at some things which you get here the room comes with very cool kind of performance after using it from some time didn't face a single lag yet i'm using it from approximately past 48 hours or more than 48 hours actually but it's working pretty cool no lags nothing else is buttery smooth the scrolling speed is kind of great and also i've noticed there are a lot of apps which i've installed right now on my device and i didn't got any issues in multitasking or whatever else and also i am using this latest magisk v21.1 here let me show you which magisk version i am using here okay this one is the magisk which i am using magisk 21.1 and if you want to check out my banking apps are working or not let me tell you that my safety net status is passed it's not passed by default and how i just passed the safety net in this room i have a video on that just uploaded some time ago make sure to check that and you'll get an idea that how i can pass the safety net in redmi note 9 pro especially this is working fine on redmi note 9 pro and also almost all of the devices it should work you just need this magisk module called magisk hide props config and magisk hide for that i have a tutorial on that if you have any issues you can check out but this one is working fine here and let me show you my safety net status from here also so you'll get an idea this one is my device and if we run the test here you'll see safeness status is passed so yes i'm using the banking apps here also let me show you this is my google pay which i'm using here paytm i'm using here so almost all the banking apps are working fine including that our device is also certified in google play store let me show you by going here going to settings and if i go here device is showing as not certified but that's just because we have just recently passed our safety net status so that's why it's not showing as device is certified or not certified but actually device is certified i'm using it from some time and the banking apps are working fine if banking apps are working for you that doesn't matter that will not take anything from you now let's take a look at some other cool kind of features which you get here as corvus os has some little bit of customization features also also let's move on to settings and find out some things which you get here first of all let me share with you which customizations you get here Ravens layer has a miscellaneous only some little bit of things available which includes a double tap to sleep on status bar status bar items which you can enable or disable and full screen apps going for the things lock screen items has only double tap to sleep on lock screen lock screen charging info and little bit of things available icon manager includes the 4g icon old mobile type data disabled and roaming indicator quick settings has only quick setting tint customization doesn't include many customization of course this is the first build and maybe we'll get a very cool kind of features very soon in this build buttons and power menu only that's it these were all the things you get here network and internet connected devices apps and notifications has almost all the android 11 features as expected talking about the battery backup let me show you my battery stats by going into fkm so that you'll get a good idea from here if I go here, you can see my screen on time is 8 hours and 15, 8 hours and 11 minutes with only 53% of battery drainage, which means active drain is only 6.47% per hour. 
which is amazing yes this is great only six percent per hour while using this this is great you can customize these kind of things according to you and this battery stats are quite good so if you're looking for a battery backup customizable room then this room is for you you can install this build customizations i have already shown you so you already got an idea which customizations you got here battery backup i already shown you also include some display related things which are as expected fonts customizations icon shape icon pack and themes just include the ascent theming nothing else as i already told you this is the ascent theming which we have other things are kind of same thing going for the security the best thing is face lock option is available but the app lock is not available here but yes you can compromise with that and this one is android 11 build let me tell you which bug i got i don't have anything right now this one is my bluetooth which is working fine here if i use the bluetooth media that has a bug now if you enable bluetooth media and try to connect with any like speaker or earphones and want to play something on youtube or any media then the media will not play you will not get any sound so in my case only uh, the bug i got is the bluetooth media i hope you got an idea that which bug i got and uh, this was all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video the build has two builds kind of things the corpus os vanilla build and google apps build if you don't want to install google apps you can simply use a vanilla build and you can install google apps on your own but if you want google apps in build then the google apps build is also available the both of the links is in the description make sure to check that thanks for watching and goodbye